Hi there and welcome. I'm Nikki Sutton and I help people realise the infinite nature of self and of reality. As a spiritual person, do I have to be super nice all the time, even to people who are unkind? It's pretty easy to be kind, courteous and considerate of everyone and everything, as we all should be. But this question is asked of me a lot recently. As a spiritual person, do I have to be happy and nice all the time? Do I have to be nice to people no matter what? What if someone's being really horrible towards me? Do I have to stand there and take it? Or worse yet, tell them I love them? First of all, you don't have to do or be anything on the spiritual path. It's up to you. How on earth can we be all love and light towards everyone, even if they're being unkind or abusive or even driving us totally nuts? One misconception I've found is that on the spiritual path, we must be a bunch of pushovers, be all love and light, force a happy face, go home, meditate and manifest a better reality, essentially taking no action. Part of manifesting is taking action, by the way. So my first point, number one, is about boundaries. If someone is violating our boundaries, then we don't just take it, we take calm action. Here's an example. While driving, I try to change lanes and I do manage to squeeze safely in. And I see in my rear view mirror the lady in the car behind me waving her arms and shouting. She was quite cross. In this instance, I can let it go because it has no impact on me really. If her ego is hurt by my safely entering the lane in front of her, then she clearly needs healing. Through the understanding that people always act as they do for a reason, and that reason is almost always in a hurt or difficult past, I can have compassion for her and wish her love and healing. My own ego doesn't respond, only with love. However, if the same person was to get out of their car at the traffic light and start banging on my window, I might call the cops. You see, those on a spiritual journey have boundaries like anyone should, except we don't get negatively emotionally triggered so much in troublesome situations. Because we try to have understanding for other people's need for healing and therefore react with kindness. They probably need more kindness. Number two on do I have to be super nice on my spiritual path is authenticity. We want to feel like we can express ourselves. If we have a veneer of niceness on all the time, then we're not being or working towards becoming our true self. Of course, be courteous and caring and considerate towards others no matter what. But those who pretend to be in a high vibration all the time are actually lowering their own vibration. It creates negative energy, straining to look happy when we're not. Authenticity is being honest with ourselves and in honesty, we can better face and address that which needs healing and development within ourselves. Now that's ascension. Following on from authenticity, when thinking about, as a spiritual person, do I have to be nice and happy all the time, is number three, repression. If you're being inauthentic with yourself and others and forcing happiness and super niceness all the time, then you're forcing back into the subconscious mind negative emotions which may require healing. I explain in many videos in my inner work playlist how negative emotions are a sign that we can heal something within our subconscious mind. If we don't address negative emotions and instead put on a forced smile, then we're not healing. It's like putting a bookcase in front of a mouldy wall. The bookcase looks nice, but the mouldy bit is still there and probably growing. You could instead clean it off though. Number four is forming and maintaining relationships. If on our spiritual path we're forcing a temporary high vibration and trying to be nice all the time, we're not being honest with others. 
They don't truly know us or know who we are. We feel we can't express our concerns or problems, and if we do, then it looks like we haven't reached Buddha status yet, and that would diminish the perceived worthwhileness of the spiritual path we're following. In other words, we fall into the trap of trying to look super happy and healed, otherwise others will think we're not doing spirituality right. If we're practicing spirituality, then we are honest with ourselves and others, and not trying to be something that we're not, yet anyway. We can't maintain healthy relationships if others are getting to know a version of us that is not really us. We can't keep up the facade forever. Lastly, point number five on do I have to be super nice all the time on my spiritual journey is we are working on it. One big purpose of spirituality is to allow us to look within and heal negative experiences, emotions, unhelpful thoughts and limiting beliefs. We do this to become closer to the infinite being we truly are in this spiritual energetic reality. It takes time to truly raise our vibration, well many of us anyway, so we mustn't think that as we've decided to follow this path that we must seem like a balanced Buddha already. It can take time to improve the way we perceive the world and ourselves and how we feel and fine-tune how we interact with the world. If you're not feeling peaceful, blissed out and brimming with joy yet, then that's normal. We're all a work in progress. So you don't have to be super, extra specially nice to everyone if you feel it's too hard. It's okay to feel down sometimes, and we can work on it. And if your vibration lowers now and then, or even frequently, it's okay, you'll get there. Give yourself some time, and bit by bit you can approach all manner of situations and deal with them, and anyone, with ease. I always recommend meditation and inner work on our spiritual path so that we can start to feel happier and happier, day to day. There are many new ways that we can perceive ourselves and reality too, to help us to navigate life with joy, peace and happiness. Many of these techniques I've already covered on my channel, so do take a look, won't you? And try my new YouTube meditation channel, Guided Meditations with Nikki Sutton. That's great for healing too. And remember to click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to receive regular spiritual inspiration on your journey through life. Like and share also, because we're raising the mass vibration together. So go now, in love and peace.